Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lily and I have recently purchased so much new makeup, honestly. Like, I have... I have a lot, okay? And uh, I thought, well, actually, I asked you guys if you wanted to see individual reviews on each of these products or if you just wanted to, me to incorporate them all in one video. You guys said one video. So this is basically a massive try-on haul, me sharing my thoughts on these products because I think apart from one, I've tested them all and know my thoughts and just having a good old-fashioned makeup time. So hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, go ahead and do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. Alrighty, so you guys are zoomed in nice and close. Everything I use on my face today will be linked in the description box down below for you guys. They are affiliate links though, so if you shopped in, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. I wasn't going to clip my hair out of the way, but I just, I feel like I need to because it drives me nuts. Like I said, I have really been going on a makeup spending spree. Uh, you know, I... I don't always love new makeup, like the new makeup releases. So when I do love them, I usually do pick them up, like when they really grab my attention. Um, so just to give you a heads up of what we are using today, um, I have done an individual review of this. If you want to see like in-depth swatches and stuff, check out that review. It's already up on the channel, but I'm going to do another eye look with this one today. I've got the new KVD um, Good Apple Blush and Bronzer Cream Newness. A new Danessa Myricks primer. I've got the new Westman Atelier lipsticks. I've got the new YSL face powder and bronzer. I have this new Bobbi Brown color corrector palette. I also have the new Lisa Aldridge mascara and eyeliner. So we're going to put all of this on. I also have the new Summer Fridays lip oil. This is in the shade Pink Cloud. And I've been using this for quite some time and I love it. It's really, it is really a brilliant lip oil, especially if you are someone that doesn't like a super, like if you find their lip balms too kind of thick almost, you'll really like that lip oil. It's very lightweight on the lips while still being very hydrating. We're going to do eyes first. I don't have a new eye primer, so I'm just going to take my Hourglass eye primer and apply that. So we are going to use um, the eyeshadows from this Natasha Denona palette today, but I am going to use it in conjunction with my Danessa Myricks Groundwork palette just because uh, I like to use mattes basically with this one. You can use the bronzers, I just, I have the Groundwork palette so I may as well use it, you know. I'm going to start with a Refa 33 and I'm going to mix these two pomades together right here. So it's Mirage and Chiseled. And I just literally like dip into one and then dip into the other and just kind of like mix them together. And then I'm just going to start by wiggling this through the crease and blending it out. And I just find these honestly blend themselves. I mean, if you've been around here before, you know, I have an intense love affair with this groundwork palette. So I feel like I don't need to say much about it. <laughs> So I'm just going to pop this on the other eye as well. And yes, I will be getting the new Danessa Myricks Groundwork palette when it gets released on March 19. Don't you worry your pretty little faces. And then I'm just going to um, take those same colours and just pop them on the outer corner here a little bit. I actually feel like these pomades are a really nice uh, match with the Natasha Denona formula in that Hyper Natural face palette because they're kind of like a cream shadow as it is. So it's like a nice same, same, you know, kind of formula-ish. Now I'm going to take a 14 Max from Refa and I just want to, I'm actually going to now mix this one and this one together because I want to deepen it, but not like a huge amount. So I'm just going to mix them and I'm mainly going to focus this on the outer corner here. Actually, this brush is going to be too big. So what I'll do is lay the color down like that and then I'll pick up this 15 mini from Refa and just use that to like, I've got no color on this to blend it out. Perfect. So same steps, but all the way. Thank you. 
before I go ahead and do the metallic is I'm going to put a wing liner on using this liquid liner from Lisa Aldrich. So this is her new kitten flick liquid liner that she's just released. And I will say if you are someone who uses a liquid liner a lot and does a lot of like winged liners, this is probably the best one I've ever used. It's really good. Like the flick, like the pen, sorry, is so thin and small and like just the perfect amount of malleable. I do find it really easy to use in saying that I'm really not that great at wing liners. So don't judge it too harshly on my application because I'm not the best at it. So I'm just going to be quiet because I can't talk and do a wing at the same time. I'm very much gonna leave these here and again please don't judge the like pen on my application I'm really not the best at them I find it quite hard with my hooded eyes but I'm gonna leave them here because I imagine once I put the uh, metallic on I'm gonna need to finesse it a little bit more so but I do really like it it's very easy to use and like if you make a mistake it's easy to tidy up and everything but yeah I'm just I'm just not the best at a, at a wing now I'm gonna take my intensify stick and pop this three quarters on the lid I do find after testing this palette for a few days now that I like the longevity of the cream without creasing is going to last a lot longer if you put down like the intensify stick, at least I've found that. So I'm actually going to take every day here and this is just a Bissiodo flat brush. It doesn't have a number or anything on it, sorry for me to tell you, I just know it's Bissiodo. And I'm just going to pop that where we put the intensifiers. I think that's really pretty. I'm just going to pick up this Ruffa 13 mini and I'm going to go into statement, which is like the dark brown here. I'm just going to pick up a touch of that and like use it to deepen up this outer corner here a little bit. Just like marry them. I was surprised on the review, just like the mixed kind of feelings on this palette. It seems like some of you really are excited for it and love it. Aside from the fact that it doesn't suit all shades or it's like, don't get me wrong. That's ridiculous. Um, but just even with the eyeshadow formula themselves, I was um, quite surprised. I don't know. I don't know why I was just expecting everyone to be super excited about it, maybe. I don't know. And, and be everyone... Actually, not excited about it. I just thought this would be everyone's vibe, that hypernatural vibe. Um, but no. So I was surprised. And kind of in a nice way, because i got to be honest, I love a bit of a glam makeup look. It's felt like everything's been so natural for so long. I'm excited that it's kind of not that at the moment. I'm going to take this little pencil brush R101. I'm going to go sh um, back into that statement shade and I'm actually going to run that here and use that to blend into the liquid liner. And I'll kind of go over the liquid liner with it as well, just to like make it a bit of a smoky liner. Um, just because that's the vibe that I actually want to go for. And it's not going to like deepen it too much. Also, once this liner sets, it sets. You don't have to worry about it like transferring or moving around or anything. Should we put some glitter on the top? Mm, no, let's just leave it like that, I think, for now. Let's move on to the face. So this is the new Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. So it's a mattifying and priming face serum. And it's basically supposed to be a multi-action water to powder mattifying primer serum that controls, shine, refines, and soothes with our conf Comfort Matte Complex, a unique blend of seven potent balancing skincare ingredients. It does not have fragrance in it, which is awesome. It also says you can just wear it alone um, if you want to just like combat oils. Like if you want to wear no makeup and just like mattify your face a little bit. So it's actually quite a cute little um, kind of applicator, if you will. So it's like this little dropper. And then at the bottom, it has this little squishy thing. 
And so I'll see if I can do it on here. You just like tap the little squishy thing and it lets out like one drop. And then that's your kind of primer. So you can either put it on your hands and spread it out. I like to put it on a brush just because I don't like to apply my primer with my hands, but that's just me. So this is just a Rare Beauty foundation brush, by the way. So I've been using this for about a week, I think, or just under a week, and I quite like it. Um, yeah, I think it has, like, it has kept my oils at bay. I will say that. It's a lighter feeling on the skin than the Yummy Skin Blurring, blurring Balm, sorry. Um, but a similar vibe, if I'm honest. I think if, I don't think you'd probably need both. Um, I do feel like, but this is very lightweight and like you can really feel that like water fresh feel when using it. So I do quite like it, but actually the, I will say the, um, yummy skin blurring balm, it will slightly smooth your pores just ever so slightly. Whereas this doesn't do anything like that. It doesn't smooth your pores or anything. So, you know, just depends on that. But in terms of actually keeping your oils at bay and stuff without like feeling too matte or like tight on your skin, it's it's really quite a nice product. I'm just gonna apply some of my Tarte Green Color Corrector here and here. I picked up, this just got released I think yesterday I saw in Australia. This is the new Bobbi Brown Skin Touch Up Palette Fair to Light 1 and I think there's like a deeper trio as well. Um, it's It's got the uh, Skin Corrector Stick and also the Skin Concealer Stick. So I think this is the Concealer Stick and these two are the Corrector Sticks. I can't remember the shades. I feel like it was like light peach, light biscuit something. I will pop it on the screen for you guys. The shades um but i just kind of liked it and i really like the um i love a good color corrector so i thought i would give it a go now what i think i'll do is actually try this middle shade first and it comes with a little brush so let's just apply it with the little brush and see i'll just do one eye and we'll see how that goes this little brush is not going to blend out anything though so i'll just take this rare beauty foundation brush Mm, just a little bit. I might just try mixing these two. I usually find I like need to mix two. Okay, and then for the other eye, I'm gonna mix these two. And I'm finding my finger is the easiest application here. If you haven't noticed. I do like that it has the different shades, so like, because I don't know about you guys, but I find my darkness, it can change depending on how sleep deprived I am, I am, like what my diet's been like, that kind of stuff. So I do like there's the three shades that you can like mix and match. I feel like I like this side more. Okay. Let's do that. It's not bad. I feel like I'm going to need to play around with it a little bit more just to find which shades like the mixture of the shades. I feel like I'm just going to be a mixture of all three shades at one time. But it's not bad. And I like the feel. If you like the Skin Corrector Sticks or the Skin Concealer Stick, you'll you'll like that. It's the, I didn't realize it was that formula. So for foundation, I thought we would use my Sisley Phyto Tint Perfection Foundation in the shade Zero and Dawn. I do have a full review of this foundation on my channel as well. And I love it love 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 it so my favorite way of using it is with a sponge and i just like to dab it on and then kind of blend it all out now this does have a fragrance in it but it hasn't broken me out from wearing it so i'm not quite sure what the difference is there some fragrances do some fragrances don't it is a matte finish obviously honestly all of these details are in my review however I just want to follow up with the fact in the review I talk about how much I really love this foundation and it is still the same. It's a foundation I have just cannot stop wearing. It makes my skin look so perfected and beautiful and it just is so long wearing. It's amazing. Um, it really is like, especially in the heat and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. Like it still doesn't feel like you're wearing like a heavier foundation or anything. I really like it. I like the shade match. And when I did, I will do this in another video, but I got the Christian Louboutin liquid foundation before I got this one. And don't get me wrong, I do still like that foundation, but 
between the Christian Louboutin and this Sisley, I much prefer the Sisley. It's just a little bit more smoothing and longer wearing and just, it's, I, I don't know what it is about this Sisley foundation, but it just really matches my skin type really perfectly. Um, and the Christian Louboutin one is still good. I still stand by that review, but I do like this one more, just as an FYI. But if you want something a little bit more hydrating, then go for the Christian Louboutin because this is a little bit more of a matte. I also did a review of the Chanel Sublimage Concealer, which is already up on the channel, so I just thought we would use this again today. I do actually have a couple of new concealers, but um, I wanted to use this one. It's like the Kylie Cosmetics one. I just got that for my own personal interest sake. I don't think you guys care about that. Anyway, uh, this is the shade 10, and if you saw my review, again, you know... I'm infatuated with this. It's one of the best concealers I've ever tried, hands down. Although I was on a live chat with, or I was on a live with Blair on her channel on Sunday, and you guys were basically saying that the sub, the Sisley concealer is probably, if not as good or better than this one. So now I'm like, okay, well now I have to get the Sisley concealer. <laughs> you guys are so bad for my wallet. I know you always say I'm bad for your wallet, but you guys bad for my wallet let me tell you <laughs> I'm just gonna take my BK 109 and blend this out um, but if you didn't catch the, the review of this oh, it's so good like this has beaten out I think my Urban Decay Quickie concealer now which if you've been around here you know that is like a holy holy grail for me it's just so good it's just so good it's the perfect combination of like coverage finish and hydration for me just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous look at it oh it's flawless and it wears so well like it's just oh. now tell me uh in the comments as well have you picked up any new makeup lately what are you buying off or are you just kind of like window shopping through youtube which i totally get because we don't you know obviously i get more makeup one, because I just love it. I just love having a bigger makeup collection, I'll be honest. Whether I was on YouTube or not, it would be like that. But I also do a lot of it as well for my channel. Don't get me wrong. So I get if you're also just like, I just want to window shop and live through others. That makes sense. Um, powder. So I picked up the All Hours Hyper Finish Powder in the shade 1 right here. Which I have a short where I just like kind of swatch it and unbox it. And I have not used this on my under eyes yet. You know, which maybe I will. I'm going to take my Ray Morris Kabuki brush. I'm just not sure if it's going to be too dark. So let me just do a little test on the... Um, eh, it might be alright. No, it's alright. Okay. I, I will say I have not tested this on my under eyes. I really did think that this was going to be uh, too deep for them. But I've actually been testing this powder for a week. So I don't know why I haven't done it now until now. And I've decided to do it on camera. But it looks really nice, actually. Alright, let me do half the face. Um, now, surprisingly, you would think, because if you know the All Hours foundation kind of thing, you think that, you know, it's quite of a matte finish. So you would almost think that this is like a really, really matte finishing powder, but it's actually not. It's, it is, don't get me wrong, like it's not a luminous finishing powder or anything, but it's not a drying matte powder. So I do think a lot of you will quite like it and I find it quite smoothing and I do find it to wear quite well. So that is half the face with the powder and half without. So I think you can even just tell the difference. My skin's like looking a bit textured and oily. At the moment it's going through it. I probably haven't eaten that healthy to be fair <laughs> lately. Um, but yeah, I've been, like I said, testing it for a while and it really, it's impressed me a lot more than I thought it was going to. Now it has quite a big shade range for it as well. There should really be a shade for most people, I think. And they also have a translucent shade. So when I initially got this, I was really worried that it was not—it was going to be too dark on my skin. But it actually isn't. It's quite, um, I think you can tell, like, it's actually quite a nice shade, which is good. Oh my gosh, I forgot to put the cream bronzer on. I knew I was feeling something. That's alright, we'll just put it on over powder and see how that goes. <laughs> what a silly sausage. So I got the shade Fair in the new KVD, uh, what is it called actually? Bronze and Sculpt. So this one is like the bronzer, this is the Sculpt. Um, I've actually kind of just been mixing them together, but if I want more of a contour, I do really like this. And I have done like a short where again, like I swatch these. Um, so these are the shades right here. So this is the Sculpt 
and this is the bronze. And when I first opened it up, I was like, oh, these look odd. I don't think they're going to look good on the skin. But they actually look really nice on my skin tone. Like, surprisingly so. So, I have been enjoying them. I'm actually just going to take the contour today. Um, just because that's what I feel like doing. So, I'm going to pick it up like this. And actually, I'm going to take a, another BK109 and like work it in here. And we are going to find out together if this goes over powder well. Yeah, it's going quite nicely. So happy days. Normally what I've been doing is doing it before my powder and I just kind of like draw it on the face and then blend it out and it's been working really lovely. Um, but this is going really nice too actually, so there you go. And it's, it's kind of honestly like the Good Apple Foundation formula. Um, it feels so similar, but a little bit more lightweight. Like I think you can tell it's quite blurring and light on the skin. Um, but if you like the Good Apple like balm foundation, you will love these products. Well, that did a phenomenal job going over powder, which is not how I normally use it. So happy days. There you go. Actually did a really lovely job. Nice. Let's set my face with bronzer as well while we're here. I also picked up, and I've seen these everywhere, all over social media, the YSL bronzer. Now, I picked up the shade 1, and yes, it really looks like the powder shade 1. It really does. Like, you can hardly tell the difference, right? But this bronzer actually is surprising on the face as well. Like, this looks like it'll be too deep on the face, but goes on really lovely. This looks like it'll be too light for the face, but actually goes on deeper. It's quite odd. I got mine off Selfridges. I'll let you know when it comes out on, like, an Australian site like Myra or David Jones, but I got mine off Selfridges. You can also get it off... Um... I think it's also like Nordstrom, wherever I can find it, I will link it, but it pretty much sold out instantly everywhere. So you will just have to keep an eye on like when it comes back in stock, but I think I might pick up shade two, but I don't think I need to. So anyway, let's apply it. I'm actually going to take the A507 from BK Beauty. I'm just going to stamp it in and then I'll do one half of the face so you can like see. And it is a sub, like, don't get me wrong. It's not a, um, intense bronze color, right? But I feel like it's quite nice for my skin tone because I feel like, one, I'm usually really heavy-handed with bronzer. And two, I feel like it's actually just got this really subtle shade. Like, it's very natural. Like, so that's with the bronzer without. Do you see? I know it's very subtle. So if you are my skin tone and you do like it to be a bit bronzier, then definitely go shade two. But if you're my skin tone, you just want a very subtle bronze or you're paler than me, then definitely go shade one. Cause can you see, like, I feel like, I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but I really do feel like it is a nice shade for me. I feel like I'm, I probably, the perfect, perfect shade will probably be getting like shade one and two and like mixing them together. Um, but I know Sophia sees beauty here on YouTube. She picked up shade one and two. She had like the smarts to actually pick up both shades. And uh, she's done like a full comparison with like other bronzer shades and stuff like that in your, that you might have in your collection if you're wondering. So check out her review. I personally am really happy with this shade though. Because I can like put as much as I want on and it doesn't go overboard. <laughs> and I just feel like it looks quite nice. But yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it translates to camera but I like it. Let's finish the eyes now. So I'm just going to take a mixture of the two pomades and run them under my lower lash line. This is a BKA504. I actually forgot that I haven't done brows. So let me quickly go to brows so that when I do mascara and stuff, you can see what it looks like. I just feel a little bit lost without brows. So I'll be back. I'm back. Brows are on. I'm going to take my Lisa Aldridge Black Eyeliner. And then my Victoria Beckham Brightener for the lower waterline. And now the Lisa Mascara. So this is the wand right here. 
and it's basically let me oh, the claims aren't on the box but it's kind of like a water resistant so it's not waterproof um i use an oil cleanser to take my makeup off at the end of the day and it comes off super super easy with that but it just means it's not going to like flake and budge and stuff throughout the day which is kind of nice um and when i first tried this i'll do the one eye first my very first impressions when i tried this i did not like it I thought it had no like volumizing to it. It was just lengthening, which I don't like. And it kind of gave me spider lashes. However, you cannot judge a mascara by its first impressions because a lot of the times the formula will thicken up and change a little bit once it's opened. And that's what's happened with this. And now I'm obsessed. Like it is absolutely beautiful. And now it volumizes and lengthens, which I like. So that's one eye, no falsies, no nothing. I don't wear falsies, can't do it. <laughs> and then that's none. I love this mascara. And it does not flake, it does not budge, and it is easy to get off at the end of the day with a cleansing oil. Love it. I love it as much as my Reban, if you're wondering. The black little specks up here is just because I put it eyes and I like look up, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this mascara now. Hated it the very first time I used it. But then after like two days of it being open, it turned into this. And now I absolutely love it because I feel like I have falsies on. I really do. And I just love the fluff and thickness it gives me now. Oof. So I don't have any liquid highlighter. Let's take my Say Super Glowy Gel. And I'm just going to take it with my sponge here. And then I did actually pick up the new Chanel Spring highlighter, the um, Lumiere de Lotion, I think it is. I've butchered that pronunciation. Now this has like micro fine glitters in it. So if you do not like that, don't pick it up. But I don't mind because it's so fine. And like, look how pretty it is. I love this kind of like shift to it. I should have a review of this already up on my channel, by the way, this collection. I picked up the whole collection pretty much. We're going to try the, well, we're going to use the KVD. I've tried it already. The um, Good Apple Blush Balm Duo in e Elusive Orchid. So that is what it looks like. And I'll swatch them. And they're both just like, it's like two perfect me shades, really. And then together, I'll actually mix these this together because I should have done that with the other one as well. So um, the singles and then mixed. And they're absolutely beautiful. They're very much... Me shades, love them. And I have loved using them, but I'm trying to think as I say this, whether or not I'm gonna mix them together or just use, yeah, I think I'm just gonna use this one actually. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and dip into it directly. And then lightly, mm -hmm. see, oh. It's so pretty, you guys. It's so pretty. Yeah, I love them. Highly recommend them if you've been eyeing them off. They're gorgeous. Like, absolutely gorgeous. Look at them. And it has this nice little glow to it, but not a texturizing glow. I just love them. I love them. To set it, I'm actually going to take... Yeah, I'm going to take a mixture of both of these, actually. From This is the new Chanel Spring Blush. Um, Roses Cochleage, I think, if I haven't butchered that. This is just my ref of five, and I'm just going to mix them together. And I love this blush, by the way. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful, if you ask me. Do not have a new setting spray, so I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury one. Now for the part that I, I haven't tried these yet either and I am so excited. This is the new Westman Atelier lipsticks. Aren't they adorable? I love them. The packaging is just pretty much like her cream blushes and her cream contours. So it has like the little magnetic clasp. They're luxe, they're hefty and I absolutely love the colour of the bullet. Just absolutely adorable. I picked up the shade Picu, or I think that's how you pronounce it, Picois. 
and Jarif, I think. So this is Picu. Piqua, I don't know. And I will swatch it. And then I also picked up Jarev, like I said. I'm butchering the uh, names. And they're different to shades that I would normally get because I found like a lot of her shades were deeper than like what I would normally gravitate towards. So this one's Picu and this is Jarev. Or Jarev, maybe? Absolutely beautiful. So we're going to try both of these on. And I thought my Rare Beauty Neutral lip liner might actually work well for both of them. So let's do uh, PQ first. So this is PQ or Piqua. <laughs> and they're so creamy and pigmented. Oh, like when I was swatching them, they're just so creamy. Look at that. That is one swipe pigmentation and that shade is pure perfection. Holy jewelry. I was reading it on the website. It doesn't have them on the box, but I think this is like a very fancy like formula. Yeah, it says a hydrating matte lipstick with a dreamy, airy feel, vivid, clean pigment, plump, nourish and smooth. And it has this hydro suede technology in it, which is volumizing moisture locking system that delivers matte pigment without drying or feathering. Um, this is also refillable packaging, which is awesome. And I just, I love this shade. Look at that. Oh, I am so happy with that. That is gorgeous. All right, now let's try Jarif. Jarif, I'm so sorry. Okay, so this is Jarif. Oh, look at that shade. I love how these apply. You need to get one to 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 feel it. I don't know. There's something different about these. These are right up there instantly with the Lisa Aldridge lipstick. I'm telling you, that's gorgeous. You know what this reminds me of, and I'm so happy I picked this up. Fenty. You know when she used to have the Mademoiselles, there was a shade called Spanked, and I absolutely loved it. It was such a unique color, and this reminds me so much of Spanked from Fenty. And I've never been able to find another color like it, and I'm obsessed. These really feel comfortable. Like they're a matte lip, but they're not fully dried down. But they also feel like a satin, like they feel really comfortable. They also feel like I'm literally wearing nothing on the lips. Like they are so lightweight. I am obsessed. Stunning. I may have to get more shades. I really might have to, because that's gorgeous. That is one of the best lipstick formulas I've tried hands down instantly, I can tell. Also, if you're from Australia, you can shop off the Westman Atelier website. And I got them in like three days. And the shipping was either like free or it was really affordable, like $9.95 or something. Wow, that's amazing. All right, let me go to hair and jewelry and all that jazz and we will zoom out and wrap this up. So two seconds. All right, my friends, this is the finished full look using new makeup that I have recently picked up. Honestly, I love how this whole thing turned out. I do. What do you guys think? I personally really love it. And I, I'm going to be honest, that, and I'm so happy to report this, that there is not one product that I picked up in this entire haul that I regret purchasing, which one, thank goodness, it's my own hard-earned money I purchased this with. None of this was PR. <laughs> um, and But just two, yay, like for amazing makeup because it just brings me so much joy. That is it. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys have your eyes on? Honestly, I, I loved all of this, especially these lipsticks. The lipsticks for me are the standout run, don't walk. Just saying. Um, but yeah, I am so, so happy. I do have a couple of other products that are new, either coming or, uh, I haven't shown yet. So stay tuned for that. And I will follow all of this up with like a speed reviews. And I've seen a couple of you guys asking for like rankings of my foundations and stuff, which I will do as well. So stay tuned for all of that. And if you've made it this far, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I truly, truly appreciate you. And I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.